So today, we'll mostly be taking a yard walk out by the beginnings of Ireland's ancient east. Today, we mostly walked around Ardmore in County Waterford. Also, we did a small walk at the beach at Gary Vaux, but I lost most of the footage from the Gary Vaux walk. Uh, just being silly, really. I, um, I forgot to save it as I was going, and I lost it. I have some footage from there, but not that much. Gary Vaux is a beautiful beach, but it's just a beach. So I suppose it's a good thing I didn't lose the other footage. The other footage would have been worse. Yeah, I think we're finally coming into the beginnings of fall. The weather has gotten cooler and well, as you can see, it's, uh, it's not sunny anymore either. So we bundled ourselves up and took our little friend from next door out for a walk in Ardmore. The town of Ardmore, which means Great Height, is a seaside resort and fishing village in County Waterford it's not far from Yall on the south coast of Ireland and has a permanent population of around 430. This, of course, increases in the tourist season. It is believed to be the oldest Christian settlement in Ireland. St. Declan lived in the region at some time between the period of 350 to 450 AD and Christianized the area before the coming of St. Patrick. In September 2014, Ardmore was included on a short list of Ireland's top tourist towns composed by Falcha, Ireland. It is home to Ireland's only hotel with a Michelin-starred restaurant, The House, at the Cliff House Hotel. The Ardmore Cliff Walk brings you up to St. Declan's Well. The well has been a place of pilgrimage for hundreds of years on the 24th of July. Look out for the crosses hand scored into the stones of the building. Forget to subscribe down below. It seems that 65 percent of you guys are not actually subscribed to the channel. Go on down below and hit the button. If you're in Ireland or the UK or anywhere in Europe, even uh, don't forget to use my Amazon affiliate shop T-shirts for sale down in the show more. You can also join my Patreon if you like. There's always extra stuff there that I put up every month. I'll probably in the near future be doing some live stuff for my patrons only. If, if you feel like it, please join me there. It takes about an hour to walk the entire Ardmore Cliff Walk. There is a complete round circle which is four and a half kilometers long, or you can walk up to the top and then return the same way.
shipwreck. Uh, doing the cliff walk from the center of town, I guess from the car park and around. It's really amazing. And there's some sort of shipwreck in the distance there that we just looked at. And we're just coming up to the top of the hill on the far side now. This is the wreck of the Samson Crane Barge, which ran aground in a gale in 1988 en route from Liverpool to Malta. It's now a rusty perch for an assortment of seabirds. Further along, you'll come to two watchtowers, a Napoleonic structure prettily sat in the field, and a concrete station used to monitor the coast during World War II. for about uh, 20 minutes or so. And look at these clouds that are coming in now. We're here at Gary Vaux, which is about 40 minutes away from Cork City and about an hour and a half from Kinsale. When the tide is out, you've got a long walk of almost four, possibly five kilometers from one end of the beach all the way to the other end over by Ballycotton. So your best bet is to check times for the high and low tides. When the tide is in here high, it's really hard to walk behind these rocks here. You can still walk along even if the tide is in. But you'd be best to come here when the tide is out. From where we were yesterday, there's a watchtower to the east here and then another one on that island over there which is just behind us, just right in front of Valley Cotton. These watchtowers would have been all lined up during the war to watch the waters around Ireland. Look at that. So this is, uh, I guess what they call Gary Vaux Pier. <laughs> and that over there is the lighthouse just outside Valley Cotton, which is the next town over that way as well. At low tide, you can walk the entire way in the sand or on the water if you'd like. Yeah, Gary 
Crow is a beautiful long beach that you can walk along and it's really uh, great for your ward walks and keeping yourself in shape. Valley cotton on one side and then you walk straight through to the other side. It's, it's brilliant. A really nice walk. So thanks very much guys and we'll see you. <laughs>